What camera do I look at? Which one you want to look at? Any of them. I was just wondering. Yeah, you can look at eighteen. On here. <laughs> <laughs> this is your camera right here. Uh -huh. But you can look at me. We men. We can talk to me. <clears throat> yeah. So I was. <laughs> yo, don't do that. <laughs> so now nah, we talk about the uh, the Flacco sh and um. Did I you see. No, no, we're not about to go back there. Oh no, I thought that's what you were on. That's the type of you on. I'm not on that. Not me. You the one that brought it up. The no, bro, I brought the interview up. I said I I seen it the the thumbnail and it was intriguing because it said something about <laughs> you being a culture vo vulture. Okay. But I had to stop the damn interview because y'all start talking about your. Okay, it was like a thirty second segment. It wasn't. It was so really you watched the whole thing. Man. I tried to. Okay, then. And you I was stopped interested. it. No, I stopped you said, it. Oh, sh it's her. Huh? No, bro. Anyway. Okay. Do you, anyway. The, the culture vulture thing. Do you get that a lot? Is that something that you get? Um, no. Are you white? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I don't know. You got to ask these questions nowadays, right? No? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Some people probably don't know. So do you, do you get that? Um, I would say not really, honestly. Where did that come from? I just feel like people are just trying to find something to hate about. You know what I mean? People always look for something to hate on people who's doing better than them. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's just something I don't really care to speak on. I just feel like it's a thing in the past. People want to say it. I know it's true, and I know what I'm doing, and that's not it. Wait, 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 wait. I must have touched on something that I didn't even know about. Because you, you said I don't want to speak on it, so clearly this had to be some some issue. I don't know, I'm asking. I'm curious. I, I have no clue. I, I'm really just stumbled into this. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say it's an issue. It's just like people try to shed light on it more than it needs, and I feel like... Shed light on what, though? The fact of me being uh, the, in the whole thing with Flacco, that whole 30 minutes where he was just pressing me about crazy shit. Can you, I rem remember, I stopped once I got to talk, so you might have to refresh my, my, my mind. Or I don't think we got to refresh it. Give me a hip. I'm, I'm, I'm curious for real. I'm, I'm Nothing you need to know about it for real. It's, 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 a, it's a thing of the past. So I'm assuming whatever happened, I'm going to go back and watch the whole thing mm, now. Yeah, you can what, watch what, the whole thing. Whatever happened, did that bring a lot of negative energy your way? Um, not, not, I wouldn't say it brought negative energy. I was I was just saying it. it's um a topic that I'm not too keen on speaking on. Mm. Just because I, I feel like I know my worth. And mm. that's whole culture vulture thing is not. Me. Mm. That's not what I'm trying to be. Because everyone in the comments was calling Flacco the culture vulture, brother interview calling him an asshole the way he handled the whole conversation. So mm. everyone watching the video, I think, saw it from a different perspective. Yeah, that's why I was, I was curious because, like, I mean, I don't know. Like, a culture vulture, like, okay, a white person, what, doing what black people do? Like, is that what we call a culture vulture? Is that what we call it? They was describing it as, like, Profiting off of what, like the black culture? I guess so. Okay, I, I mean, I, I guess like I, I'm trying to see um, the care in it because you went to. I think you. I heard you say somewhere when you went to school, you went to school with both black and white people. Yeah, everybody. Right, you went to school with everybody. So if that's your culture, if that's how you, if that's what you came up in. I mean, I could see you adapting to like hip hop music. I don't like. I don't. I when I heard it, it sound natural to me. It didn't sound like it was forced. And again, I don't know you. Like so. Oh, sh my bad. That was loud. Uh, yeah. So like, and I'm just getting when I when I first heard the music. I, the first thing I said was, "Bro, it threw me off." Like in a good way though. I like yeah. the music. So when when someone was to say like you're a culture vulture, I don't know. I couldn't. But yeah. it seemed like that's something that probably like hurt though. No, it didn't hurt me. It was honestly, if I'm speaking honestly, just my team didn't mm. didn't weren't very happy with okay. how how much he was forcing that fact on me. I guess that's a great point. That, that's a great segue though, because I'm pretty sure you you probably got a, another audience from that. I'm pre like a, a, another group of fans that started to like you from that. No, or maybe in yeah. I know what you mean. And I say that because, like, sometimes, and I'm glad Ryan is here, sometimes, like, PR and, like, the team, they try to stop things from happening when really the – that's natural. Those natural moments is what make us more – what makes you more intriguing as an artist, as a person. Because yeah. now we're learning who you are. So I can see how, like, your team's like, ah. But I think it probably was better for you. 
What, what? Yeah, that's that's how I looked at it. You know, I like to look, look at things on the bright side. I feel like it was just getting my truth out and letting everybody know like who I really am. Mm. I think it really was able to bring that out and kind of get that whole idea out of their head mm. and yeah. move away from that type of uh, music, I guess, a little bit. Wait, so you moved away from that type of music? I'm just uh, moving away from, you know, speaking what's not me and my music. Mm. Stuff that I'm not about. So you feel like that's a, that's a, something that you were doing, like making music that wasn't really who you were? Ever, didn't yeah, represent it was you. just the stuff that I heard and <laughs> heard in the music that I listened to growing up. You know, a lot of the, the rap, mm. rap scene, that's kind of what they were talking about. So I just, that's kind of what came to my head whenever I was writing music, but... No, I took a. I learned, I learned from that interview and just from the people I have around me, and I realized I need to really focus on speaking my truth and who I am and the mm. difficulties I've gone through in my life, mm. and not just random shit that I don't know anything about. This is true. Man, that, that, I mean, now that you say it like that, that's real because I mean, <clears throat> a lot of times people use the music for 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 other opportunities, right? So they you might talk about some gangster shit now and they go wanna like pressure you on some gangster shit because that's what the music is about. Mm -hmm. So it can bring negative energy. I can see that. Yeah, hundred percent. And that's kinda that's why that's a, another big reason why I steered away from that is because I don't wanna be in that type of lifestyle mm -hmm. because of the music, even though it's something I've never really been been through. Mm. Yeah. Man, that's 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 great. When did you come to that interview? Was when you made that realization? No, I feel like I was making that realization before that, but that that interview put the stamp on it. Where it's like, all right, that's going. I'm done completely for sure. Mm. Because it's just like, if people or people are that like worried about it, if you will, then I'll just move on. You, I'm so right. upset at myself now because you make me feel so bad because I'm like, I should have finished the interview because like just hearing it right, like from you saying, I don't want that energy in my life. So I stopped making that type of music is understandable. That's one thing, right? Mm -hmm. But when I'm hearing it because I didn't finish the interview, yeah. I'm looking at it like it seems like somebody bullied you, bullied you almost into a realization. And I don't like that part. That's corny to me. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, if you text me, I don't have my phone. Oh, I was just saying, I didn't know. I don't know because you'd be like, Oh but, God! Uh, <laughs> What'd you but, text me? No, 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 no! I didn't know. I didn't. That was me. My, my oh, nah, but yes, that's what you see. What I'm saying because it seems like the realization. That's a real thing. It wasn't. Nah, like I said, it was. It definitely wasn't forced. Definitely, because I wouldn't let that happen from the person I am. Mm. But because it, it's it's been like the past year almost, I've been building relationships and close friends in the music industry that are telling me, yo, those exact things. Mm. So I was already, I was already pretty much apart from it. But I just haven't. I guess I didn't show it yet. Mm. So after that interview, I realized I needed to show it. Okay. Because I, I I've been done stop talking about that stuff for a minute now. But what stuff exactly? Because yeah. I'm I'm getting to know you. Just just like um talking about I guess uh living in the streets. Okay. You know what I mean? Like having guns on me all the time and things of that sort. Just I'm just that's not me. I'm curious though. When you were making that music, did you almost feel like you had to? force yourself to live that life because you're making the music? No. No, like I said, it was just the type of music I listened to is that's what they were. Majority of it was talking about. So that's just whenever I went to the studio, it was like, I guess, like, you know, on the way they listened to the music, just kind of like what was on my mind is like what I was hearing. What I was hearing is what I was saying. <laughs> you good, bro? Yeah, it's just, you, you, you're right, right? Like, you're right, 100% right. And I'm not trying to cap over here because I got you as a guest. I'm me. I'm real. I don't give a f I don't give a f about none of y'all. But that's another thing. But I say to say, you that's hip hop though. Like, so if you go, if you watch an interview with um Hitmaker, right? AKA Lilberg, Lilberg, aka Hitmaker, he speaks on how he had a good foundation coming up and how like his parents were like, I don't want to say they had money, right? And he was listening to a bunch of hip hop. And like gangster music, and it kind of influenced him to want to be a gangster rapper, and it, it kind of made him like Tupac. Like, hmm? Yeah, I don't know if I would have said that if I was you, but kinda. 
<laughs> but yeah, that's, that's a great that's, that's a great example. Yeah, it's, yeah. So, but you you see that in hip hop a lot. So now I'm wondering, like, why why the frustration with you? Is it because you white? Uh, it has to be. Oh, like why the people are frustrated? About yeah, because it? it's like yeah, you say you have you didn't live that life, right? Yeah. But a lot of the artists that we see that go into to hip hop had a similar experience. Like they they didn't really live that life. They heard it and the music influenced them to want to do something else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I feel like maybe maybe it comes down to race also the fact that it's also something I never really portrayed on social media. Mm. Like you know, a lot of these artists that talk about that stuff, I feel like you know, you see videos of them with guns okay. or you know whatever and I never I never portrayed that image nor Okay. Mm. It was kind of like you was living like a double life almost. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can yeah, see that. I guess if people took the music that serious, but I guess yeah. it is art, so people Facts. do take it like that. Nah, no cap. And that's why I definitely have completely switched the way I'm talking my music. And what type of music you making now then? I make I make rap. And I make I, I'm trying to experiment. Like I'm 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 gonna make a country try to make a country song tonight. I've made I've been working really towards like mainstream type of music. Um, kind of like pop rap type of thing. You but just throwing me, cause I, the music I heard it was good. I'm like, why you want to? Why you want to go away from what worked? Cause I'm good. Oh, that's gonna sound cocky. I feel like I can. I can be. I'm really good. I could be really good in any genre. I feel like I have a my my voice. I with the experimenting I've done. I feel like I'm able to make good music in each genre. And if I can do that, why not? Because that's just taking it all in at once and just taking over. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I think like you're right. I, I, so, for me, I mean, just I'd be like, like if, it, if it work, if it ain't broke, why fix it? I'm not fixing it. I'm just adding on to it. I like that. 